everybody, it's Blue Ducky, and today in this video, I'll be unboxing and reviewing Nephra Denial from the Boo York, Boo York Monster High line. I'm super excited because this is the first Nephra I own. I never was able to get the original Nephra, and this is only the second time Nephra has been released in a different line. There's the original and then this one. So it's pretty cool to see her come around in doll form again. And a quick reminder, if you are a new viewer, hit that subscribe button. And also, a lot of you ask in the comments on different videos where I get my dolls. This particular doll I got off of TootsToys.com, which is a website. You can go check it out. Okay, here's a quick look at the front of her box. You have the advertisement for the Blu-ray and DVD which is coming out in 2015, this year, later. And here on the side, you have the Boo York. Um, it looks like a poster on the side of a building, advertisement. And then her name, Nephra Denial, daughter of the mummy. And um, she's a part of City Schemes. Because you know Nephra always is scheming something. And then finally, her little artwork down at the bottom. Here's a look at the back. As you can read, um, Nephra is kind of like the uh, problem maker in Boo York, Boo York with the comet. And of course, her sister is Cleo. So at the end of this review, I'm going to be doing a quick doll comparison between Nephra and her sister of this line. I thought it would be interesting to see them side by side. So make sure to stick around for like that. The other monsters in the Boo York collection, she Nephra also has a the same sort of silver comb and stand in that rocky looking uh, design. It also comes with this little piece of purple, what I'm guessing is to be a piece of the meteor or comet. It's a comet. A piece of the comet. And um, I'm guessing this is what she uses to plot her devious scheme close up look at Nephra's face. As you can see, she has very elaborate eyeliner and lashes on her lower lid. And then her makeup is gold and teal. And then she has a kind of a red lipstick. Her headpiece is really cool. It looks like um, some crystals and cobras combined into this elaborate jaggedy headpiece. Her earrings on both sides are gold and it looks like a snake with its tail wrapped around a crystal. For Nephra's hair, it is teal color with copper colored tinsel in, and um, a couple black streaks and then you have a white streak as well. And it's loose and pulled back um, under her headpiece and the rest is loose. It's very voluminous at the top, you can see. It's a poof. Going down into her outfit, she has this big chest and shoulder piece. The shoulder, you can see, looks like crystals. And then the chest kind of looks like a mummy and then a snake kind of coiled over top of the wrappings. And it's in that same kind of coppery color as well. And if you remove that piece, you can see the underneath dress is a simple sheath dress with what looks like a long sort of tie over top of it. But you can see it's kind of stitched on. And her dress is green and um, a silvery prismatic material kind of changes color in the light but it's a squiggly pattern on the fabric kind of looks like her snakes a little bit and then on her arms she has these wrappings that go into fingerless gloves 
And as you can see, all sorts of belts and wraps. And a couple, like, studded wraps as well. Little spikes on them. And then finally are her shoes, which are really cool as well. The bottom sole of them, if you can see, looks like crystals. And then going up, it wraps around her leg. And there's two little snakes, like two snakes wrapping around her leg to keep her shoes on. So on her one arm, she has this little mark. Like I said, I didn't get signature nephra. I'm not sure if this is something she's had before or not, but I thought I would point it out for you guys. And now for the sister doll comparison. I take a look at them side by side, full length. You can see nephra is taller than Cleo, which she is the older sister, so that makes sense. A couple things that I really liked about both of them is that they both emulate their Egyptian culture in different ways, but it's still very recognizable in their makeup. As you can see, Cleo has the Eye of Horus makeup uh, over her one eye, and then Nephra has very, like, loopy makeup. She has a little bit of the same thing, not as pronounced as Cleo's though. And then in their headdresses, there's the snakes in Nephra. And then the little um, r ringlet that, it, that Cleo is wearing. They both have the same color tinsel throughout their hair as well. They all, like all the, um, all the Boo Yorks, they both have one accessory or a few accessories that are this shiny material. For Nefra, it's this giant chest and shoulder piece. And for Cleo, it's her little circlet on her top of her head. And then going into their dresses, they both have almost the same length kind of dress. Uh, I think Nefra's is a little simpler. It doesn't have sleeves than Cleo's. And then finally going into their shoes. Uh, they're strikingly similar. They both have snakes wrapping up their legs. Nefra has two different snakes crisscrossing and Cleo has one. But their shoes are both really cool um, sort of heeled sandals. If I had to choose one shoe, I think Cleo's is my favorite because I really like the sphinx and the added detail with the blue in the front of the face. So yeah, they're really cool both together. I'm glad I have a, a set of the sisters finally. Um, which one do you prefer? If I had to choose one of the sisters that I like the best, it'd probably be Cleo, because I really just think she looked really pretty with the Boo York set. But I am so happy, so, so happy to have a Nephra finally. And this Nephra, she looks just gorgeous to me. She's regal and has that nice teal and gold and copper color. She looks really cool. Uh, yeah, remember to leave a comment down below telling me what you think of Boo York, Boo York Nephra. Do you like her? I'm sure most people will like her because she's the only, <laughs> she's the most available Nephra that you can get now because the signature, as far as I know, they haven't re-released the signature Nephra. So yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And have a great day, everyone. Bye!